self-talk, meditation, and prayer. From the Recovery Learning Series at supportnet.ca. Resources for your recovery. Recovery is learning to enjoy life without the use of alcohol or drugs that alter mind or mood. It is treatment for the condition of addiction, an approach to the challenges of life, and a path to personal growth. Recovery requires us to learn about the true nature of addiction. It may be personalized, but it has its necessary principles and its ways. The principles of recovery provide direction to the choices that we face each day. The ways of recovery provide us with tools that help us to heal and to enjoy life on life's terms. This learning seminar introduces the topics of self-talk, meditation, and prayer. How you can use your mind to empower your recovery today. Introduction When we first begin in recovery, the mind is a restless and erratic place. Sick habits of thought lead us to anger, shame, despair, or relapse. The stuff on our mind will always pull us in one direction or another. And it is here that we find choice to be led towards sickness or to harness the power of our mind towards healing and health. Self-talk. Self-talk refers to our thoughts as we talk with ourselves in our own mind. We all do it most of the time, and of course, it is entirely normal. It is a matter of what is said and how, useless chatter or reassuring words, harshly critical or kind and gentle. Pause now and then to notice the stuff that is on your mind and where it is likely to lead. Question your thoughts if they are a benefit to you right now. Are they reassuring or critical? Do they lead you to a solution or do they endlessly review a list of your problems? Would you say such things to a person you like? Let go of your usual habits of thought. Replace them with affirming words. Today I will be a better person. Just for today I will be kind to myself. Our mind can only focus on one thought at a time. Say something calming to yourself and squeeze out a worrisome thought. Say it over and again. We criticize ourselves over and again. Why not repeat something that is reassuring to hear? There are ways to talk that will better our mind and that allow us to draw on its power. Recovery phrases are excellent reminders to repeat to ourselves. This too shall pass, just for today, one step at a time, and first things first. Self-talk gives us a break from the useless chatter that fills our head for most of the time. Recovery phrases help to settle our mind and remind us of truths important to our health. Repeat them often as you talk with yourself within your own mind. Meditation. Meditation helps us to learn about our mind, body, and person. It shows us how easily we are distracted, pulled away from this moment and out of ourselves by the stuff that occurs around and within us. Meditation is learning to let go of the busyness of the world, the clutter in our mind, and of the feelings that come and go. Active meditation helps those who are easily distracted or who struggle with an overly restless mind to get started in meditation. It uses your body and its movement to help you settle your mind. SupportNet introduces several types of active meditation, including walking meditation, progressive muscular stretching, and abdominal breathing. During mantra meditation, we learn to rest our mind on a short, calming phrase that we repeat over and again within our mind. When we repeat the phrase, this too shall pass, it becomes a mantra. Mantra meditation is portable. You can say your mantra quietly within your mind at any time or in any place. When you find yourself lost in worrisome thoughts, take a breath deeply to your lower belly and begin to repeat your mantra quietly to yourself. Meditation is a powerful tool of mental health, healing, and personal growth. It helps us to let go of the stuff that clutters and disturbs our mind. It helps us to learn how to listen, 
to let go, to calm, and to settle ourselves. Prayer. Prayer may not put a new car in your driveway, but it can help with a great many things. Ask for help in the morning and give thanks at night is a traditional recovery teaching. It doesn't matter to whom or for what. Prayer reminds us that we are not in charge of the world. It takes a load off of our shoulders. It reminds us that we are part of something larger and that things will work out as they will. Prayer may not change the world right now, but prayer can change things inside of us. Prayer helps to relieve us of worry, resentment, and despair. Ask for help to let go of anger and worry. Ask for relief from the compulsion to use and for help to find your way. Say a prayer for the person with whom you are most angry. Do so every night for two weeks and see how you have changed. The serenity prayer offers clarity to many of the situations that concern us. Grant me serenity to accept the things that I cannot change, courage to change the things that I can, and wisdom to know the difference. Repeat the serenity prayer quietly to yourself. When you find yourself lost in worry, or when feeling pressured by the burdens of life. In summary, the stuff on our mind pulls us towards sickness or health. Self-talk replaces fearful worries with messages of reassurance and hope. Meditation is learning to listen, to let go, calm, and to settle ourselves. And prayer reminds us that we are not always in charge. It offers relief from disturbing states of mind. Self-talk, meditation, and prayer help us to harness the power of our mind, to counteract the compulsion of addiction, and to use our thoughts in the service of recovery. SupportNet offers introduction to these and other ways to calm and to settle ourselves. have now reached the end of self-talk meditation and prayer look for this and other learning series topics at www.supportnet.ca resources for your recovery